<laughs> we got action. We got action. Scruncho. Comedian Scruncho takes a visit to Corey Holcomb's 5150 show and reveals TK Kirkland. Now I'm already doing this video too also because I happen to dip in it because I didn't made a video about Charleston White not getting paid by Live Nation and TK Kirkland and TK Kirkland videos is up on my page. So I have found myself up in the mix. So but Scrunch out and visited the 5150 show and give some details. <laughs> not T to the motherfucking K. T to the motherfucking K. <laughs> let me, let me, I'm gonna let y'all hear a little snippet, a little quick, 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 quick baby snippet. The day I got arrested, right? They kicked in my dog, knocked in my dog, came, my little, me and my little daughter. My daughter answered the door. She said, Dad, it's a bunch of police in the living room. I come in the police room. They say, like, we're arresting you. I said, Dad, you know, I'm getting arrested. Dad, they said, they're gonna arrest you. 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 I go to the police car and I swear to God I'm not making this up, man. <laughs> Wait, it's funny. Listen, a snitch sit in back of the car, police car. An informant sit in the front. TK was sitting so close he needed to slid to the left here to be driving. <laughs> so there you have it. Scruncho says that TK Kirkland snitched on him. He went he got into a fight. See, I didn't even know this information. That's why I'm trying to see, like, it, 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 is this just coincidental that Scruncho was on the 5150 show right after this happened? Because they ain't holding no punches. They got straight into the bullshit as soon as they got on the show. <laughs> Corey didn't even set the stage. You know, Corey, he usually talking about women and all this. I mean, soon as soon as the show just came on, Scruncho just got straight into it and told his story. Talking about how TK Kirkland then called the police and told on him after he knocked him out. I mean, you know, TK is an OG. I mean, I don't know if TK going to take the time to respond to this shit. He got a load of fuck. What, what is it, 80 shows? Shit, he ain't tripping on this. But it is kind of crazy when people start to speak on you when something good just happened in your life. Because obviously this whole thing is old. Even though, I guess... Cause when I looked it up, I'm like, I did hear about this a long time ago, but you know, this this like I'm 10 years ago, but yesterday on a 5150 show, Scruncho, who he, he on there speaking on more of, you know, we know about the police situation, and he talked about TK was sitting in the front seat after they raided his house and everything. I mean, like I say, we can still put a ledge on this, but but this all coming out of his mouth on the 5150 show. Y'all go look it up. So I so I guess that put Corey in this just a little bit. I guess the shit happened on his show, but the numbers gonna go up. Like I said, this is fairly new news, so we got action. But I'm trying to think of a curveball I can put into this whole video that we can pull some motivation and pull some good out of this. But I mean, hopefully TK don't even say nothing else about it and just leave it at that, you know, because. If he did it, he did it. I mean, he, he, he gonna have to deal with the little snickers. I'm just about snickers. Little snuckers and jokes and little giggles that people might say. And, ah, man. T, t to the motherfucker. He an OG in this game, man. You know, he'd have been on tour in NWA. And, like he say, Madonna, he'd have been around. And, I mean, we always heard rumors about things with him. But we ain't know this was popping off like this. It is what it is. We're going to see how it play out, all y'all. We got action. Y'all going to look at Corey's show if y'all want to check it out. Get with y'all in a minute. Rap talk. But I swear to God, I put this on my kids, homie. When I knocked that nigga out, I, I, all kind of anonymous callers called me and thanked me. Two niggas paid for I don't even know who they was. They paid for my attorney. 